This is replacing the dishwasher control module on a Kenmore or a Whirlpool um, Elite. I've already taken the stainless steel cover off. It takes T20 screws on the side and just lifts off and it gets you to this switch. So make sure you take a picture of this with the wires in the right order. Take the white wire out of the right side and just lift it off. Now you've got to take a small screwdriver to get behind these white connectors on the bottom. And if you'll just push the connector just a little bit backwards to release it, and then you can just pry it right out and you'll do the blue, the yellow, the red. There's a large purple one coming up that's kind of the main power feed. And some of them can be a little tricky. Just keep working, they come out easy. Don't force it or they'll break. This large purple one, you have to push back and the brown ones and then see, they come out very easily. And when you start putting them back, you'll see they fit in the right spot once you start on the right end. Just showing you the different colors here. Now, get all of those kind of just eased up and bent out of your way. And then this box, actually to get it off, you're going to have to push against, see the little tabs on the back? And you're going to have to slide it to the right a little bit. There's no screws or anything holding it, but it does take some pressure to force it over to the right. You'll see it click in just a second when it gets free. I was just looking because it was very hard. I was trying to make sure there wasn't a screw And then see it push, releases, and just comes right out. And then there's the two tabs on the back that lock it in. So you'll take the new one, hold it up, just kind of make sure it's right. And then I put the wires on first on the bottom side. I did not put the wires that belong on the inside. And I started from the picture I'd taken and just replaced them in the same order. Just take your time, compare to the picture before you put it back up. And you see the main power feeds on there. All right. Hooking up the wires on the bottom. All right, we've got this. Now we'll put that on now let's put this back on see the holes on the tabs up there on the metal that's ultimately where we're heading just checking the connections again putting it on there put it just behind those tabs push it in slide it and it locks it in and now you hook up the first two that you took off on the left and the white one on the right. And from here, you just slightly open the door in a second. This is just putting the plastic cover back on the bottom to keep the switches straight or the um, electrical connections straight.
and you'll open the door slightly and it'll make it a little bit easier here. There you see the little gray plastic piece flips up, locks them in. And so far it's working easily. Don't force anything. So it's just straightening the wires out because I had them laid over. There's the picture I'm showing you. Just make sure all your wires match. And they did. And so now open the door slightly, put the stainless steel cover back on, and you just put the Torx bits back in. I believe they're T20s. And so here's the front and it's going to lay over. You got to put it in the bottom first and kind of pick it up. It'll actually lock in nicely. And and those were a large Phillips at the beginning.